Hi everyone, welcome back to Beast and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are going to be learning phonics and the reason we learn phonics is because it is really important to help us with our reading and writing. So you can get your phoneme mats out and you can go through the sounds at home with the parent or with the brother or sister and you can also go through the sounds with Miss Johnson now. So remember when Miss Johnson goes through the flashcards, please say the sound as you see the grapheme. Let's get started today. Uh, ear, uh, uh, all, Z, air, I, e, z, o, k, l, o, ch, k, a, Okay, so our phoneme of the day today is er, uh, and it's er uh in purse. And the action is like you're holding a purse here and you're dropping money into your purse. So my phoneme is er, uh, my letter names are U R. My phoneme is er, uh, my name is U R. And again, it is a digraph. So it's two letters that make one sound. So instead of saying or oh, er, uh, we don't say that. We say one sound, er. Uh. Okay, and some words that contain our phoneme of the day are purse, nurse, hurt, and turn. So what we're going to do now is have a practice writing our grapheme. So you can have a go in the air, you can have a go with chalk outside, you can make it with leaves, you can have a go at writing it in your home learning packs as well. So Miss Johnson is going to do it in the air with you today. So I need to practice this one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Down, up, down, flick. And then the R, down, up, around, flick. Well done, and one more time. Down, up, down, flick and the R, down, up, and flick. And remember, if you would like to, you can put a dash underneath the sound button because it is a digraph and it does help us to identify it when we are reading unfamiliar words. So, what we're going to do today is Miss Johnson is going to do a kind of sound hopscotch, which you can do at home by writing, chalking on the floor. I do not have chalk, so I'm going to use the flashcard to bounce out some sounds. I hope you enjoy. So what Miss Johnson's going to do is I am going to bounce along the sounds to segment and blend the words. You can have a go at um, joining in using either your robot arms or bouncing along. So let's start from our first sound. B, uh, n, burn. Now we're going to try and segment and blend this word. Starting from the beginning. B, uh, p, burp. 
have a look at our next word. You're doing a great job, everyone. Keep joining in at home. Let's look at our first sound. And... Uh, oh, cool. Have a look at our next word. Uh, let's get started. Uh, hurt. Another word, guys, you're doing really well. Keep it up. Have a little look at the sounds that we're segmenting and blending. And let's start jumping. S uh, surf. Another word, segment and blend. Have a little look at the sounds. And let's get jumping. T uh, mm, turn. Right, I've got one last word to segment and blend. It is a challenge. Let's have a go. Have a little look at the sounds. Okay, let's start jumping. T uh, mm, I, p. Turn it. Well done, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the sound hopscotch today. What we are going to do is have a go at reading a sentence using our grapheme of the day, er. Uh. So, and just to clarify, grapheme is something that's written and phoneme just means sound, just in case people are unsure, unsure back at home. So, again, it's using the grapheme in the sentence because it's written. So hopefully a sentence will be coming up on the bottom here. Have a little look at the start of the sentence. Remember, it does look like a tricky word, doesn't it? It looks like the tricky word, I. But it is with another letter. If you see it with another letter, it makes the sound I. So, we need to use our robot arms to help us segment, chop up and blend the word together to help us read. So, warm up your robot arms. We're going to read the first word. Three, two, one. I is, is, a, or you can say uh, is, a, and then this word, t, uh, n, i, p. Turnip, well done, is, a, turnip, and then again, a, or, uh, depends on the English language. So, is, a, turnip, a, s, e, t. Sweet, well done. It, back to the beginning, is a turnip a sweet? What do you think? Give a thumbs up for yes or a thumbs down for no. If you're not sure, do not worry. Just have a think. No, turnips are not sweets. They're actually vegetables and they're really good for you. Have a little Google if you're unsure what they look like. You can search it or if Miss Johnson can pop up a picture, I'm still learning how to use all these videos. I will put it on the screen for you. So I would like you to have a go now is use one of the words from the hopscotch today. It could be burn, burp. I can imagine a lot of you want to do that one. Curl, hurt, surf, turn or turnip and pop it into your own sentence or a phrase. So it could be a burp, the burp, um, I'd, uh, I turn, things like that, um, or you could pop it in a sentence. For example, I got hurt. And um, remember to use your finger spaces throughout if you are writing a sentence or a phrase and put a full stop at the end of your sentence. Once you have done your sentence, get an adult to take a picture and pop it on tapestry so the Bees and Field staff can like and comment on your amazing work that you are doing at home. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video today and if you do do the do do if you do the hopscotch at home also make sure you take a video and pop it on tapestry so your teachers can see all the fun learning that you're doing at home too um so i hope you've enjoyed the video today and i will see you soon bye here is a picture of a turnip <laughs>